3,680 pounds, new 16 foot Udinette slide Murphy bed wolf pup here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And this, this is a dynamite little no bunk floor plan right here. Really about the only hiccup with this model is with the slide closed, you just can't quite get to the uh, refrigerator or the bathroom. I suppose if you were really, really, really in need here, if you planned ahead, and if you had longer arms like mine, you can kind of reach back here, you can kind of get to the fridge, but you're really not gonna be able to get to the bathroom, and this is the type of slide out you either want all the way open or all the way closed. You don't wanna do it like a couple inches, then a couple inches back. That's not how this slide likes to operate. The idea of this layout is good on its own, and then it was made great with the uh, implementation of a very simple but very effective Murphy bed system right here. Because gaining that extra seating, that extra sofa space right there, it opens up the living room, it makes the whole thing look and feel a little bit bigger. Um, you know, it's, it's the thing that makes this little trailer feel not so little. Although these giant windows that we're looking at, you know, like you'll find another one in the dinette, Cherokee Group is pretty darn good about that. Now this is a little camper, but what's really nice is how it gets the full Cherokee treatment. Like if you notice, those side stands that go on either side of that Murphy bed, they both have household and USB plugs to make it very CPAP uh, friendly. You know, you got a fan, a light, a phone charger, doesn't matter what it is. This one is a little camper with all the big features. Then, when you're ready to call it a night, or if you just need a little midday siesta, flip that bed out, stretch yourself out, relax, have a good time. Now, there's going to be some people who go, eh, I don't care, I don't want a Murphy bed. Here's the good news. You don't have to use it like a Murphy bed. You could use it just like a normal bed because the way that they plan this, you might notice how the slide can open and close without interfering with anything over here. So this is a traveling friendly Murphy bed system, which means, you know, if you don't want to deal with it, if you don't want to mess with it, you can just kind of leave it out there. You can leave it in the, I guess, call it open position. And at any time, you reserve the right to just kind of, I don't know, put the bed away, as it were, uh, when you are ready for it. Now, what's nice here is kind of like the 16FQ Wolf Pup, you've got full storage in the front of her. You'll notice you have a full overhead cabinet, but what's nice is you have these dual hanging closets as well. And simple hanging space. That is something that a lot of small single axle trailers tend to lack, but you don't have that problem here. Now what's kind of cool is you look at it at a glance and you say, yeah, but I lose that storage under the bed. You really don't. It just hides under the sofa. And if you jackknife the sofa or like halfway through, it'll kind of hold itself like I'm doing here. There's no lock. There's no magic trick. There's just a little sweet spot that'll hold it. And you can still get to the storage below. So. You really don't lose out on anything. You can use it as a normal bed. You can use it as a Murphy bed. You can have storage below it. It gives you kind of the best of all the worlds, really. You've also got a very cinema style sofa with that fold down middle armrest, or you could just leave it up for more seating space or, you know, snuggle right up next to that person next to you. But it's also got the handy cup holders on it. And you might notice how I've got those armrest bolsters in a couple different positions here. On the right hand side of your screen, I've got it set up like a, a normal sort of sofa with a cushy little armrest. But there's nothing stopping you from kind of just stacking it on top of everything here because of that, uh, you see how that lip that sticks down? Well, you can stick that right behind the uh, headrest area, as it were, and give yourself a little bit more of a neck cushion. Now this is what's really cool is most single axle little campers have a small two bench dinette, which is nice, there's nothing wrong with that. But because they had the room from the slide out, they gave this thing a full on true U dinette, like a giant 35 foot Cherokee bunkhouse. So that can fold down into an adult sized guest sleeper. And that factor right there alone makes us very, very functional for things more than just couples camping or singles camping. You could use it, uh, let's say you're a single parent and you don't want a bunkhouse, you've got a big bed here for a kid, or you could use it for something like buddy hunting camping. You know, if uh, you got a couple of dudes or a couple of ladies or whatever that just don't feel like bunking up with one another. You have that separate full sleeping space here. 
Now, if you want to, you can leave those end cushions on. Um, you know, if you don't need the extra length, like maybe you got a little kiddo on here. But if you got a big adult, you can easily pop those off and gain yourself a couple inches, uh, you know, net benefit on the top and bottom ends of the bed here. And really make that quite the large sleeper. Like I said, about a 7 foot true u net. And you'll find that this has pleated nightshades all the way through. But uh, those windows make it kind of hard to record a couple specific things. So you can see how you've got that center beam right there. It does open for airflow. And then on the, the bottom right of that window, you do have a set of USB outlets right here. So it doesn't matter where you're sitting or where you're sleeping. You've got all kinds of outlets all over this thing. And just like under and around the bed, under the dinette, full storage. And that's yet another benefit of a larger U dinette is that you get more of a storage cavity below it. And you can also see how they do a pretty good job of framing everything up pretty thick like, you know, it's not like it's gonna buckle and fail under you. This is built exactly like all the big Cherokee RVs. It's just built smaller, not thinner, not cheaper, just smaller. Now back here, a couple things. Great pantry space in a small single axle travel trailer. That is a rare and hard, hard find. You might also notice how you have a full six cubic foot gas electric fridge freezer as compared to like the little truck camper mini fridge that goes under the countertop of a lot of brands. Now, that does mean that this Wolf Puff is probably a couple dollars more. But when it has nearly double the cold storage capacity, not to mention the fact that you've got things like the uh, stainless sink, the recessed stove top, uh, the sealed edge countertops here, that high rise faucet, you've got nicer hardware going on. Once again, it's what's really impressive about this one is that how, how many factors it has in common with big Cherokee, uh, you know, here in a much smaller camper segment. I know I sound like a broken record, but the massive industry trend is that when you go smaller, you tend to go cheaper. And they didn't do that here. This is full feature, full function, max storage wherever possible. And uh, you just, you really don't lose out on anything except a lot of extra length and money just from the smaller body side. Another big RV feature in a small camper is that full size 13,500 BTU air conditioner. An 8,000 would probably keep up in here just fine. But with this thing, you could go to any sun country state you want when it's blazing hot. It should keep up just fine. Something else that's cool, over here, our entertainment setup. You know, there are TV hookups and all kinds of things, and there's a HDMI uh, routing plug up here so that if you had something else you wanted to expand your entertainment with, you could. But you also have it right on the faceplate of the Bluetooth stereo itself with a uh, powered USB plug. And what that means is that if you've got a little streaming stick like a Chromecast or a, you know Amazon Fire Stick or whatever, you could easily expand your entertainment here. So it's basic but very easily, uh, you know, you could get that streaming media friendliness, assuming you have some kind of decent, reliable bandwidth in a mobile situation. The uh, furnace door on the bottom left there, the, or furnace face, rather, was covered up by that uh, cabinet door. And I think the last thing we need to cover in here is the bathroom, although I realize as I go through, one thing to point out is you do have individual light controls on every one of these as you go through. This bathroom's Really well done, actually. For a small camper bathroom, they did a lot. You got a power vent fan above, shower surround paneling, and then this is a little bit different. This is something that kind of reminds me of like truck campers or teardrop campers. That is a little mini sink here within the shower. Let me see if I can get you an angle of it. It's not massive, it's not huge, it's a tiny little drain, and it's not big enough to get in the way when you're taking a shower. And I also love the fact that they have a simple, easy entry shower pan as opposed to that step-up travel trailer tub. And that is a foot flush stool, by the way, so you don't need to get your face all up in your business. The trend of all the big Cherokee features on a little camper really continues outside too. And the most obvious aspect of that is the fact that they have the exact same exterior color scheme decor all that. What's really smart about it is the lack of decals. Like you've got the graphic on the nose, you've got a little wolf pup graphic above the uh, kitchen window, but that's about it. Everything else is a painted aluminum. So you're really not going to have to deal with, you know, anything like significant peeling, fade issues, stuff like that. Now, right up front here, we have a simple side mount solar prep plug, and it's not a full pass-through storage, but it is a large cavity, and because it's a seven-wide camper, it's not really hard to reach in there and grab stuff, and remember, that is completely separate from the storage inside. 
Now right below that you might notice a little uh, like uh, tag hanging down, that little white tag. There's a gas grill quick connect right there. So you don't have to add a bunch of cooking heat inside this little camper, which could very quickly affect your interior temperature. You can stay here, you can stay very comfortable. Uh, we are seven foot wide which means this is very easy to manage if you have a smaller vehicle. It's easier to see around, although I do always, always recommend tow safety mirrors. There's just no reason to ever not have those. Basically, here's the way that I look at those things, kind of like an anti-sway system. Think about it like this, guys. Can you imagine a situation in which you would regret having that extra safety feature? Probably not. Can you imagine a situation in which you would regret not having it? And suddenly the answer becomes pretty, pretty clear. It's silly not to have it. Now this has like a 67% thicker uh, painted aluminum nose sweep on it, which is very, very common up in eight foot wide campers like a full blood Cherokee, but it's very less common here in single axle little campers. It's just a nice thing they do. Now you might be wondering how do they have 3,600 pound trailer dry weight before cargo with a slide out on a single axle. And the answer is they have a bigger, heavier axle and heavier chassis on here. They didn't put it on a like, you know, 3,200 pound rated axle or anything like that. It's bigger, thicker, heavier, uh, you know, made to hold up to those uh, extra kind of weights. And right along those lines, we should take a minute to talk about the roof because it has the exact same style of construction as you'd have on the rest of the Gray Wolf and Cherokee family, which means it's fully walkable. And that is a really key detail to point out on single axle little campers like this because not all of them have that feature. Now they do a cool thing here, uh, right next to your awning light switch inside, you've got a separate light switch and a lot of people have a hard time figuring out what it does. It activates that bright white LED light, kind of like a courtesy station right here next to your dump station. So you've got all your hookups and everything kind of in this one little centralized location and you do have a full outside utility shower, not just a, uh, a little sprayer port. And again, little campers like this sometimes have nothing and this has a full outside shower. That's a sharp, sharp feature right there. We also have seal gripping slide walls and a self adjusting slide mechanism. The idea being you just go camping and don't have to worry about stuff because isn't that sort of the point, you know? On the back here, we've got our 200 pound rated cargo rack you might notice that the spare tire is on it right there. You do not need to remove that spare tire to flip that rack down. The spare tire is actually an optional piece of equipment that we add to all of our Cherokees here. I personally couldn't imagine sending a customer down the road without a spare tire, especially on a single axle camper like this. I hope you never, never need it, just like I hope you never need cough syrup, but boy, isn't it good to have when you do need it. Smart little detail back here. You've got the little pet leash latch or uh, good for an unruly husband, ladies, perhaps. <laughs> but uh, this thing right here, handy to, you know, a lot of uh, people are going RVing because a lot of hotels are not pet friendly. Well, now we can kind of eliminate the need for that. And this does have the same easy tilt power awning as you would find on a bigger RV. It's just a smaller version of it because naturally you have a smaller sidewall. We have the same outside TV hookups and backlit speakers you find on the rest of the Cherokee family. We have the same anti-slam entry door, larger handle, and more ride stable steps you find on the rest of the Cherokee family. You know, the consistency through the brand is really what makes them shine so much to me. Also, little smart details, like on these mag wheels here, they have little tire pressure indicators on their valve stems. If that ever flips from green to red, without even needing to get a tire pressure gauge out, you already know that you need to put some air in those tires. It's just a little bit simpler, a little bit easier, and that's kind of the whole point of this camper. You know, you're supposed to go camping. It's supposed to be recreational vehicles. It's supposed to be fun, and they're trying to get you there, and hopefully you give us a chance, we'll get you there, ladies and gentlemen. So. With that, remember that we don't do hidden dealer fees, but we do everything else. We do hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between, like I just said. <laughs> so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.